Hello beautiful plant people. Welcome back to Rooting Mindfully. My name is Ayana. And today we're going to talk about my goals and plans for my plant collection for 2021. I'm hoping that 2021 will be a great year for all of us, that we will all be able to enjoy our collections, we'll be able to go outside and we'll all be healthy and then just enjoy Mother Nature as it was intended. But my number one goal that I want to say for 2021 is to not buy a lot of plants. <laughs> I feel like I set this goal. Well, actually, I don't set this goal. This is the first time I'm actually setting this goal with intention. So maybe if I set this goal with intention, it will actually stick. When I was going over my wish list, you know, for my plant collection for 2021, I actually realized that I only have about 12 or so plants on that list. It's a, a little bit more, but I give myself a plan or two for wiggle room in case I do happen to see something, you know, that just wows me. But I have about 12 or so plants on my wish list, and I just hope to keep it at that range. You know, I don't want to buy a whole bunch of plants for next year. My collection is already pretty big as it is, and I'm not looking to one day own 400 plants. <laughs> but that is my main goal, and hopefully I stick with it. So my plans for 2021 are to mainly grow and cultivate my collection to be bigger and fuller. I do have a lot of big plants, but I also have a lot of tiny plants and plants that I'm looking to uh, fluff out a bit just to get a more lush look in my collection. Now you guys may say that, you know, my collection is already lush and full, but you know, you could always work on it and, you know, achieve more things. Um, like I was saying, there's some plants that I do need to work on. Um, like if you see my alocasia video, I do need to work on giving them more light so their petioles are shorter. I do have some plants that are single stem that I want to go ahead and propagate to get a fuller plant. And for example, I have my chocolate agionema. I purchased this as a single stem plant. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and propagate this plant so that way I can have a much fuller plant. And I'll probably do a video on that if you guys are interested to see that, to see you know, how I achieve a fuller look. But I have a couple aglaonemas that I want to propagate. I have a couple monsteras that I would like to have more than one stem. So those are things that I will be working on in my collection to go ahead and produce fuller, more lush plants. I also have some DIYs and projects that I want to work on for my collection for kind of like the first time ever besides making macrame. And one of my projects is involving my staghorn ferns, which I'm really excited for. Also want to get a couple more staghorn ferns to really bring it to life. So I'm excited to show you guys that. Um, if you saw my mom's houseplant tour, I will link it above. She had a kokodama that she bought in her houseplant haul for her birthday. And I love the look of that. And so I think I want to replace my string of hearts with my kokodamas or with some kokodamas. I think that would look really nice in my room. So I'm just thinking of different ways of sprucing up my plant collection without spending a ton of money going forward. Cause like I said, I won't be buying a ton of plants. So that will save me a lot of money. I just want to really pay attention to the plants that I already have while just adding in a few more just to get the look that I'm really going for. And um, another plan that I have is to really like hone in on my pest management and prevention. Um, I'm looking to incorporate some weekly and monthly routines so that way I can uh, really nick these plants infestations in my home I don't have a ton of infestations but just seeing like what the thrips did to a couple of my plants I was not a fan of that so I really want to just you know work on that for going forward and if you guys want to see a video on that I can show you what I'm going to do for my pest maintenance and how I schedule it into my you know work it into my schedule I do write these things down in my planner so that way I can remember when I did things and what I used to see what is working on my collection. And so those are a couple of things that I'm, you know, doing for my plant collection moving forward. We're trying to, you know, 
not spend as much on plants, but I'm gonna work on the plants that I have to make sure they're happy and thriving. And I just really want to make the most of my collection. I know it's, you know, it's, a, it's pretty good now, but I can see the potential in the direction of where my collection is going. So that is what I'm gonna be focusing on in the future. We'll have unboxings or like nursery tours, you know, as well. But I just wanna show you guys the potential of plants when you really focus on the care and maintenance to be able to get the results that you're looking for and to have the look that you're looking for. I also will be working on my lighting. My lighting is pretty good in my home. I do really love my Sandy lights and I, I really want to incorporate a couple more lighting in my home. I think I want to probably bring in two more fixtures of, you know, bulbs for lighting just so I can bump up the lighting because there are a couple more plants that are, you know, straggling behind. So I want to make sure that all my plants are doing well, just not the big heavy hitters like my philodendron McDowell who has the leaf shape of my torso or my monster who's taller than I am. Those plants are just taking up a lot of light because they're so big. So I just want to make sure that all my plants have enough light so that way they are thriving. And speaking of my monster, I'm going to be giving him a little trim as well. It won't be a, like a major chop, but I'm just going to be taking some branches off the top and propagating them to stick them back in the pot because one side of the plant does have like a kind of a bald spot because I wasn't so good with rotating him. So I will be working on that as well, especially because he is starting to be taller than I am. And like I said, he's blocking a lot of the light that's coming from the Sansy bulb. So I kind of want to, you know, bring him back a little bit so that way he can spread the love, spread the joy, and we can all be happy and healthy in here. So that's, the, you know, a couple things that I'm working on for my plant collection moving forward. Let's see what 2021 has to bring us. I just want to thank you guys for always having such nice comments. Thank you for supporting me. I just want to let you know that I really, really appreciate it. It means everything to me. But as always, please like my videos. Please subscribe. If you can, hit the notification so that way you know when I put out a new video. I'm also going to put up another subscriber comment. So that way I can highlight you guys as well because you mean that much to me. But I will see you in the next video. Bye.